Okay, so this is uh, experiment number four, right? And what this is, is basically we've had a power source, we have a switch, we've got a completion of a circuit. This red one is a speaker. This one, I don't know if you can see, is a music chip and a Whistler chip. By putting, you turn it this way so you can see. So once we turn it on, you heard that music before. And then if we touch this, the Whistler chip, it starts again. There's a happy birthday song. Yeah. You see? You can touch it or clap and it restarts it. That's what the Whistler chip is. So this is this experiment. You can try buy a Whistler chip, a music chip, and a speaker, and you can create your own music. Amazing, yeah? Amazing one. It's not hard, just a wire. You have one end from the battery, the switch. Switch running um, along one to the speaker. Speaker to the music chip. Then the second part of the music chip to here, to the, uh, the circuit. And then the Whistler chip, and then this one here. This is actually experiment number uh, three in the book for the 750 experiment. We're going to do a whole bunch of different ones from there. Uh, we're going to adjust the sound levels by putting a resistor, a 100 ohm resistor. What we're gonna do is modify um, where the speaker, okay, we're gonna change this one here. For the The project number five for us, four for them in the book. So we have this side, we have the power source, the switch. We have to put the speaker here. Take the speaker out. Yes. The speaker will go here to the resistor. This has to be extended. The resistor has to go between these two. And we have to complete the circuit here and there. So we can to this. No, this thing I can put it in. You did a long number of five. That's not number five, that's number six. This has to come through that circuit. And a small one across there. This, this. Okay, so we have the power source. Wait. We have the power source, the switch. We need one small connection here. Just wait. 